Hi guys, uh, Terry here again, right? Um, please hit like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, right? In this video, I'm going to be looking at how we do a scalar multiplication of a matrix, right? All right, now, <clears throat> if a matrix is multiplied by a scalar, then each element of the matrix has to be multiplied by the scalar, right? So if I have a two by two matrix here, and I want to multiply it by some constant here, all I need to do is to take that key and multiply by every single element inside of that matrix, right? So for example, <clears throat> if I have a matrix E, right? And that matrix E is two minus one, four, two, and I want to work out what is 2e, right? Let's say you want to work out what is 2e. 2e is a scalar multiplication, right? So that's 2 multiplied by your matrix E, which in this case is 2 minus 1, 4, 2. So therefore, if I want to multiply this out here, all I need to do is to take that 2 and I'm going to multiply by every element inside of the matrix. So it's going to be 2 multiplied by this 2, 2 multiplied by minus 1, 2 multiplied by 4, and then 2 multiplied by 2. So this here is simply going to be 2 by 2 will give me 4, <clears throat> 2 by minus 1 is going to give me minus 2, 2 by 4 is 8, and 2 by 2 is going to give you 4. So this here is your matrix, right? Now, <clears throat> this is a scalar multiplication. What if I have something like this? b is equal to minus 2, 1, uh, let's say 3, 4, right? But this time, I want to work out, let's say, minus 3b. Again, that's a scalar multiplication. So it's minus 3 multiplied by this matrix here, which is given by minus 2, 1, 3, and 4. So to multiply this out, all I need to do is to take this minus 3 on the outside. I'm going to multiply by minus 2. I'm going to also multiply by 1. I'm going to multiply by this 3. And then I'm going to multiply by this 4. Right? Again, this is what we call a scalar multiplication of a matrix. So when I multiply this out, minus 3 by minus 2 is going to give me positive 6. Minus 3 by 1 is going to give me minus 3. Uh, minus 3 by... 3 is going to give me minus 9, and minus 3 by 4 is going to give me minus 12, right? So this here is a scalar multiplication of a matrix. Now, we can also have fractions as well. So let's say I have um, A is given by minus 6, 10, 4, and 2. And I were to ask you, work out for me half E. Now, again, this is a scalar multiplication. So this is a half, right? Multiply by the matrix E, which is minus 6, 10, 4, 2. So in this case here, we're going to take that half and multiply by every element inside of that matrix. So it's going to be a half multiplied by minus 6, right? We're taking this whole thing here. And then we're going to have to take a half and multiply by 10. Then a half by 4 and then a half by 2, right? So in this case here, when I multiply this out, I'm going to get a half by minus 6 is going to be minus 3. A half by 10 is going to give me 5. Half by 4 is 2. And a half by 2 is going to give me 1. So this here is my um, final answer after I perform a scalar multiplication. Now, all the examples I've given here, they're all 2 by 2 matrices. But we can have something like this. Let's say I have B is given by, um, let's say, 2, 1, 0, 1, minus 1, 4, right? And I want to work out, let's say, 3B. Again, it's going to be 3 multiplied by whatever that matrix is, just 2, 1, 0, 1, minus 1, 4. So I'm going to take that that tree and multiply by everything inside of that matrix. So we have to take this tree here. You're going to multiply by this 2, 
multiply by this one, multiply by this, multiply by this, by this, by this, right? So when I multiply that out there, right, I'm going to get three by two, that's gonna be six. Three by one, that's gonna give me three. Three by zero is zero. Three by one is gonna give me three here. Three by minus one is minus three. And three by four is gonna give me 12, right? So as you can see, you can apply scalar multiplication to basically any matrix. We're not concerned about the order of the matrix, right? All right, guys, so please hit like and subscribe, right? And I do give online classes in maths, chemistry, physics, and ad maths, right? You can always WhatsApp me at this number here, right? For quality tuition, guys. Take care.